So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this, which is the Nova 3D Washable Mecha Resin, which promises to be water washable, good quality, and also highly flexible for miniatures. So let's see how this performs. Now, this isn't a sponsored video, but Nova 3D did reach out and send this over to me free of charge so I could try it out, and I'll try to keep things as unbiased as possible. So first off, let's talk about what it's like to actually use, because that's pretty important when it comes down to resin. I feel like resins have gotten so, so good lately for miniature printing. And this is another example of that. It's a really nice, easy to use resin. Basically, out of the bottle, it worked pretty much perfectly with my Frozen Mega 8KS. Now, because that's a big machine, there's a lot of suction, there's a lot of forces that can, you know, require some dialing in. But I basically poured this in, made sure everything was heated nicely, and I was good to go. And I got successful prints straight off the bat. So ease of use wise, this is really easy. And my gold standard has always been the Jamhei Art Engineering resin, but that's a really fiddly and hard to use resin. Although you get really good flexibility and durability, it's very hard to use. This was a breeze. It was as easy as any other resin that I've ever tested before. So hats off to them for getting that right. So it might be easy to use, but what's the quality like? And honestly, again, the quality was fantastic. I printed off a whole variety of different things of this before I ran out of it. So first off, I printed off these Helldiver proxies by Station Forge, and these came out really, really nicely. Got some nice crisp details. Everything stands out on them. I didn't lose any details or get any muddy prints or anything like that. And then I moved on to something just a little bit larger with a lot more flat surfaces and stuff like that. And I went with these like Space Marine proxies and I painted them up as Blood Angels. And these came out really, really nice. I'm very happy with how these turned out. Again, crisp, sharp details. Everything looks fantastic on there. And it managed to hold all that detail very, very nicely. The next thing I printed off was this Tyranid. And the reason I went with this is because prints off in multiple parts and I wanted to see how well this resin performs not just when it comes to quality but when you also print off multiple things as well because sometimes as we all know if you've been resin 3d printing for any length of time now you get some like shrinking you get some warping and when it comes to putting the models together it can then be a little bit more difficult with this I found there was like no issues at all the only place that I did find maybe a slight issue although I think it's more my fault than anything else is on the leg here but that's just because I haven't stuck it in properly. If I kind of give it some wiggle, it'll fit back in there. So all the pegs and everything fit very nicely into like all the little square bits they're gonna go into. Went together nicely and again, it stayed upright. It hasn't like flexed too much or anything like that. And another reason I wanted to go with this print was he's on the one leg. And one thing I found sometimes when resins get too flexible, what you'll find is like on horses, if they're only on like one or two legs, they can then start to warp afterwards. This has stayed up very nicely, very happy with it. So it's easy to work with, which is great. And it also offers really good quality, which is also good. But you can get that with pretty much any of the basic resins, any of like your basic resins, like a normal waterable washable resin, or just one of like the basic cheap resins. They tend to be really easy to work with straight out of the bottle and they'll offer pretty good quality as well. The real thing is how durable is it? Because that's the big thing where those basic resins tend to fall down. And whenever anything is advertised as waterable washable resin, it tends to be absolute trash when it comes to durability. So for my durability test, I print off 15 of these demons by one page rules because they have so many fiddly, spindly little bits all over them. The connection point on the sword, for example, is so incredibly tiny that you just expect it will just break if you look at it. I take three different drop heights, so like a little coffee table height, a gaming table height, and then like a top shelf type height as well. And I drop five demons from each of these. And at the end of it, I record how many broke and how many survived. So with the first one, the little coffee table height, all five of them survived, which was off to a really good start. I got to the middle height and four of them survived, only one of them broke. And I got to the top shelf height and none of them broke. So all in all, we've got 14 that survived the total thing and only one broke, which is really, really impressive. Which puts it in, I believe, a joint second place at time of filming with the, yes, that's 3D printed Wargamer resin. So it's not quite as durable as something like the Jam Hay Art Engineering resin, but it's really easy to work with and you don't have all like the fiddly bits that you've got to jump through to get that to work. So it ticks a lot of boxes. And another one that it ticks is that the price isn't overly offensive either. It currently retails for around about 30 pounds on their website. I believe it's 39 pounds if you go through Amazon. It'll obviously be different depending on what country you're based in. But overall, that puts it at a decent, relatively cheap and affordable price point 
whilst also ticking a lot of those other boxes that you'd expect from more expensive resins. So I'm really impressed with the entire package here that you get with this. You get good quality, you get ease of use, and it's pretty durable. So if you're in the market for a decent durable resin that's easy to work with and offers good quality, I'd say definitely give it a shot and see how it works with your printer and your setup at home. This might be my new favorite resin. And I'm gonna probably keep saying that because resin seems to be getting better and better and cheaper and cheaper, which is really good. And this is a really good problem to have that there's loads of durable and flexible resins on the market that work really well for miniature printers because that means that me, and I guess you guys in the audience as well, have a lot of choice out there. So let me know your thoughts and thanks so much to Nova3D for sending this over. Really impressed with it. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Ta-ra for now.